Hello viewers, welcome to another exciting video. In this video, we will be looking at the November 2020 Science Paper 1, question B2. Question B2 reads, a car has a mass of 900 kilograms. It accelerates from rest at a rate of 1.2 meters per second squared. A car has a mass of 900 kilograms. It accelerates from rest at a rate of 1.2 meters per second squared. Calculate. 1. Time taken to reach a velocity of 30 meters per second. Time taken to reach a velocity of 30 meters per second. So, uh, the secret to uh, answering an effective physicist is actually being able to extract information from the question. So let's start uh, to collect our data. So a car has a mass of 900. So we have been given the mass which is equal to 900, 900 watt kilograms. Okay. It accelerates from rest at a rate of 1.2 so it accelerates one from where from rest what does from rest mean from rest means that before any activity the car was resting and resting meaning no movement so it means that the initial velocity is equal to zero meters per second uh -huh. at a rate of now they're talking about the acceleration itself which is 1.2 meters per second squared so acceleration is equal to 1.2 meters per second squared all right uh, so they're now saying calculate the time taken for the for ever for the time taken to reach a velocity of 30 meters per second to reach reach meaning after something has happened then we have our result and after this acceleration the result is that the car had attained so that is the final velocity so v is equal to 30 meters per second so that is our data now we can use this data by now saying acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity over time the time taken for uh, the change in velocity so we here we are not going to change the subject of the formula because we want to be as explicit as possible so we have our acceleration which is 1.2 1.2 is equal to what? The final velocity we've been told is equal to 30. 30 minus what? Zero. Over. What is the time? It's what we are looking for. So now, we are just going to carry out a few calculations. So the 1.2 this side is going to be 1.2 over 1. Then we cross multiply. So it is going to be 1.2 multiplied by t. It is going to give us 1. 0.2 t which will be equal to uh, 30 minus 0 now remember this has been multiplied by 1 so it still remains the same anything multiplied by 1 is the same thing so it is going to be 1.2 t is equal to 30 divide both sides by 1.2 over 1.2 so that cancels so 30 divided by 1.2 30 divided by 1.2 30 over 1.2 gives us 25 so 25 25 is our time so t is equal to 25 seconds so 25 seconds so we're going to now write in the space provided that our t is equal to two five seconds so that is our time 25 seconds the second question is saying force required to accelerate 
the car at a rate of 1.2 meters per second squared force required so we need to calculate the force for us to calculate the force given the acceleration we look to newton's laws of motion for help and in particular we are looking at newton's second law of motion which states that the net force acting on an object is proportional to the acceleration of the object okay now in that relationship the proportionality constant if we are to introduce an equal sign the proportionality constant is the mass of the object so we are going to have force is equal to mass the proportionality constant multiplied by the acceleration so what is the mass we have been given the mass to be 900 kilograms so we're going to have force is equal to 900 kilograms multiplied by the acceleration which is 1.2 so what is 900 multiplied by 1.2 so we have 900 multiplied by 1.2 which is 1080 1080 so f is equal to 1080 what are the units for force newtons so we are now going to transfer exactly what we've written there there so force is equal to 1080 newtons okay mm -hmm. so this uh, brings us to the end of this video uh, if you like the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up uh, if you see anything wrong in the video it's better you can give it a thumbs down and also make a comment over what you have seen so that we may improve the content that is delivered to you thank you very much if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe see you next time